Hello friends, welcome back to Let's Tutor Accountancy. Hi guys. Today we will discuss on an accounting problem faced by one of our new clients, Mr. Jeffrey. And if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the updates regarding further uploads. Also, you can press the join button to become our prime member where you can get many benefits with online courses at very minimum prices. So do check that out and join us now. Do visit our website www.letstude.com to see our online courses at very affordable prices. So Mr. Jeffrey came to us and he was very worried. He said his business showed a sudden loss after many many years of showing high profits. Secondly, he also told us that he sold his computers this year that he used as an asset in his business for 5 years. These did not work effectively anymore and there were better newer versions in the market that would make his work more efficient so he needed to replace and buy new computers but he did not have enough cash with him so how's it possible that he had huge profits previously and now there's a sudden loss as well as there is a shortage of funds he needs our help to find out where something went wrong So we asked him to show his previous year statements. This is an extract from it. But was it true and fair? The value of his computers is showing 1 lakh each year. As an accountant we can tell that he has not shown something called as depreciation which is charged on fixed assets. So we prepared this statements again for him. Now it seems we are able to see the true profits in his business. So what is this depreciation? The word depreciation means decline in price. It associates with decline in value of assets due to four main reasons. First, physical wear and tear. Second, is passage of time. Third, exhaustion. means it is depleted it can no longer be extracted or provide any service and fourth obsolescence which means it can no longer be used because of new methods or technology upgrade or say an existing plant cannot handle increased business so nearly all fixed assets in business like plant and equipment machinery buildings furniture and others depreciate due to these reasons during the useful life of the asset which means after this duration they can no longer contribute to operations of the company or they stop helping in generating any revenue however this uh, depreciation of fixed asset is not seen like an expense like any other day to day expenses in business because it is a non cash expense money is not actually going out of the business or there is no loss unless you actually want to replace the asset after many years or sell it due to whatsoever reason like we saw jeffrey was not able to see this problem until he sold his asset so why is depreciation important in accounting to show a true and fair picture of your business to not overstate profits but to provide for the decline in price of assets to show gradual reduction in value of asset to match benefit received from the asset to the cost incurred as per the matching principle to know the current value of your fixed asset to comply with legal requirements and taxes also one of the best benefits of providing depreciation is that this non cash expense accumulates and it stays in business thereby indirectly creating cash reserves to buy new asset when we need to replace or sell off the old asset now in case of jeffrey if we relook at his statements he showed very good profits in the first 4 years and what happens when there is good profit in the business either money is spent for personal usage or we may incur other expenses that could have waited like marketing expenses to expand the business and what happens when suddenly we are hit with a loss on sale of asset 
and there is an urgency to buy new asset that is crucial for functioning of your business. If he would have recorded depreciation, he would have made wiser choices as per the need of the hour or as per the priority in the business. So for all of these above reasons, it is important to show depreciation in accounting. If you liked our session, do like, share and comment. And yes, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the updates for all our upcoming videos. Do visit our website www.letstude.com to see our online courses at very affordable prices. So see you in the next session. Till then, keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.